match that he's got coming up. Here he comes right here. Dirty white boy Tony Anthony with uh, dirty white girl Kim uh, leading the way. Greeting a few of the fans along the way. Here is Kim, and here comes Tony Anthony right here. Tony, want to take just a minute. you got a big match coming up here, I know, and I know you want to talk about it. Yeah, but before I get into that, I'd like to get a little serious here with you, Dave. i got a few things on my mind that, uh, well, as everybody knows, that I've been trying to turn my whole life around. I'm trying to do the right thing, and uh, the people have been getting behind me, and I appreciate that. Thank you all very much. But, uh, you know, it's just uh, a lot of things have been going on in my life, and I'm, I'm really trying to do the right thing. And uh, me and Kim have been living together for about four years now. And, uh, you know, I, I love her with all my heart. I really do. I mean, this right here is what keeps me going. I know that I've done things in the past that hadn't been right, and I'm trying to do, do whatever I can to, uh, I don't know, overcome it, just go on. But uh, what I'd like to do right now is, uh, baby, you know I love you with all my heart, and uh, what I'm trying to say is, is will you marry me? Uh, you know I love you, baby. Yes? All right! You heard it from me. <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> I guess an, an, an official engagement right here, huh? Well, congratulations. I didn't mean to embarrass you, baby, but, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Uh, well, now, what do you want all right, to yeah, I guess we better get back to congratulations to both of you, though. You. And and uh, let's, if if we can, though, let's talk about a match coming up because that is going to happen uh, very very soon. Uh, you and Embry, well, we've got a videotape. I guess the best thing to do is just look at the videotape right now, and this will tell the story. Watch this. I think that pretty well shows what you're dealing with when you have this Texas bunch anywhere around. Yeah, well, you know, it seems like every time that I've got a match with Tom Pritchard, I've got to fight Tom Pritchard, and then I've got to fight Eric Embry. Or if I've got to fight Eric Embry, then I've got to fight Tom Pritchard. And Lord knows Miss Texas is always sticking her nose in it. Maybe what we need to do, since those three little blackbirds want to stick together, whatever you want to call them, maybe we need to get somebody. Maybe we get, need to get a third member. Hey, what 
right about Cousin Harold. But he's not a professional wrestler now. Well, I tell you, he is huge, and the man does know how to brawl. He's like six foot nine and five hundred pounds. You call him? Well, well, okay, maybe we just may do that. <laughs> that would be the person to get, Cousin Harold, yeah. Because you're talking about a big, mean, mad... All right, now, come on. This is their time, Embry Pritchard, Miss Texas, Tojo. <laughs> Cousin Harold, did you say? Uh -huh. Did he say, Cousin Harold? Cousin, Cousin Harold? Six foot nine. Big dope boy. Five hundred pounds. Here. Cousin Harold. C Cousin Harold. Here. And Cousin. they call it Cousin Harold. <laughs> Cousin Harold. Cousin Harold. Uh, Cousin Harold. Uh, well, you know, uh, no, well, he ain't no wrestler. He knows how to fight. Well, hey, we know how to fight. Cousin Harold. Oh, Harold. Here. You know, hey, 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 you. Wait, Cousin wait. Harold. He sounds like he's probably from the sticks of Mississippi or something, huh? Well, I have you to know he's from West Memphis, Arkansas. Woo! He means very close. West Dick, Memphis, Dick. Arkansas. Hey, Cousin Harold, man. He's a big city slicker, ain't he? Wait, wait, he's wait. a big old city slicker, man. Oh. West Memphis, Arkansas. Yeah. But hey, white boy. I heard you say that you're gonna you're gonna marry this tramp here. You think that's gonna hey, make wait a minute, boy. Let me tell you something. This is gonna be on professional wrestling. You don't tell you can cuss me all you want to, but you don't talk about my old lady like that. You understand me, Paul? Oh, oh. You guys, don't you walk around on me, boy, when I'm talking to you. You understand me? <laughs> what look out, look out! Richard and Embry doubling up on Tony Anthony. Well, Tojo and then this Texas, Texas got Kim over here. Here comes, comes Eddie Rowe. Oh! Oh! Eddie Marlin has about had enough of Eric Embry anyway. He nailed Richard and, oh, oh my goodness, Embry just knocked him down. You know, you can't leave well enough alone. Embry and Pritchard have got it. Here comes referee Paul Neighbors. He's going to come. Oh. White girl, he's going right after Tojo. Boy, I'll tell you, Paul Neighbors really surprises me. Look at him. Throwing those left hands. Oh, we got a brawl going here all oh. over the studio. Oh, look out. Pritchard's got Paul Neighbors from behind. Eric Embry is, has just jumped through the uh, curtains. Looks like headed back toward uh, his dressing area. Oh, look out, look, look out, out, look out, look out. Look out. Just way late. Look out, look out. Oh, no. Eric Embry with that trash can, Dave. Where, where did he get that? The free-for-all continues here. Tony Anthony lying on the... I can't believe Dave. Here comes, here comes some help. Danny Davis, Jerry Lawler, Tony Anthony is out, Dave. He's out cold. Let's, let's get, get the Texas group out of here. Get out of here, Embry. I think they've headed for the... Uh, for the wrestling area. Tony Anthony's still out. Well, he's not out cold now, but he's moving a little bit. But they're, uh, they're, they're bringing him around, I think. Uh, what do we got here? I tell you what, we're, we're just going to have to take a break right now. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs>